Hey, hey, everybody. Hello, hello, everybody. Listen, thank you all so, so much. Thank you so much. I want to say I apologize. I was having some technical difficulties over here, but I appreciate you hanging in there. Thank you so much. That's why I had shifted. I moved it to six o'clock, but I was able to get everything worked out. Hey, Facebook, everybody, listen. Hey, y'all. I was trying to get all of this stuff together and listen. When I finally got everything uh, clicking on all cylinders, I said, okay, so now it's time to go ahead and log on. Hello, everybody. I apologize. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Who we got in the house? Let's see who we got in the house. Hey, Leandra. Heal, heal. Uh, let's see. Healing uh, in your silence. Hey, Vanessa. Natalie, awakened queen is in here. Hey, Charlie. My sister Chelly is in the house. Thank you so much. I see you in the house. Thank you, Connie Barnes. I see you. I see you. Hey, Joanne. I got you. Hey, HT. My Louise is in the house. Hello, Miss P. Y'all throw some flames in the chat for the baddest moderator off up in here. All right. Throw some flames in the chat. Hello. Hello. Thank you so, so much. I see you, Overcomer. Shirley Gonzalez. I love you too, Joe. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Let me get some flames in the chat for my mod. I, I would listen. You know, I'm always here on Thursday nights. I apologize and I thank you all. Hey, Machula 14, I see you. Uh, yeah, Marie, uh, yeah, yeah, Marie, thank you. And thank you so much for uh, becoming a member of our all access VIP. Hey, Ann Harris. Fifi, I see you. Hey, Angela Marie. Hey, Keisha Spady. Hey, Jen. Jen Africo. Erica Hall. Hey, Karen Flowers. Hey, Marcus. Rhonda Turner is off up in here. Hey, girl. Hey, Shirley. Janice Mays. All right, Lagodi, I see you in the house. Hey, Demetra Price. Hey, Tim. Our brother's off up in here. Hello. Hey, Miss Wanda. Thank you so much. Hey, Ar uh, let's, Orlando's in the house. Thank you so much. I see you, Orlando333. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see who else we got in here. Who else did I miss at the top? Uh, let's see. Y'all, thank you for, for the love with our moderator. Thank you all so, so much. Hey, Rosalind, Shannon L. I see you, Natalie, Awaken Queen. Hey, Kim Bertrand. Hey, Tiara Redrick. Hey, Phyllis. I got my Facebook crew signing in. Lisa, Lisa. Ooh, hey, Falasade. I see you, sis. Thank you so much. Hey, Angela. Ann Harris. Thank you. Hey, Bap. All right, all right. Carolyn Alexander. Thank you so much. I see you, sis. Hey, Dixie Waller. Hello, Cassandra Barty. Hey, Janice Mays. I think I, I, I called you already. Carla D. Hey, bright like a diamond. I see you, sis. Dory B. Hey, Angela. Ebony Ham. Hey, girl. All right. All right. All right. Hey, Zelda. Overcomer is in the house. Hello, Overcomer. Thank you so much. Hey, Sheila. Sheila Guyton is in the house. Day Diana. Hey, Diana. Colleen Daniels, hello, sis. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. You all are the best. Um, let's see who else we got in here. Hey, Dawn, I'm in God's hands. Patrice Bean, okay, all right. We rocking and rolling. We rocking and rolling. We rocking and rolling. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Callie girl. Frederick Dunbar. God bless you. Hello. Hey, M. Mosby. Marilyn Wainzer. Hey, girl. Hey, Donna. Konita J is in the house. Hello. Hello. Let's see. We got Karen Tillman. Hey, Queen Shani. Hey, Verna. Louise, I love her. 
She said, hello, our beloved queen, beautiful team T. Uh, family and all newcomers, welcome. Hey, Naya, Stacy, Jan, Sasha Simmons. I got folks, my folks on Facebook joining us. Phyllis, hey, uh, is it Natanya? Uh, Akoya, hello, y'all. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you, Louise. Yes, indeed. I love, love, love my folks. Y'all know I can't miss Thursday nights. So, we are talking about y'all make sure y'all hit that like button hit that like button share 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 okay y'all make sure y'all do that facebook share 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 hit that like button okay all right y'all so let's jump into this topic i want to get in here because i really really want to i want to talk about this thing you know focus has been something that god has had in the forefront of my mind for a pro, uh, about the last week, okay? And, you know, when actually a little bit before that, because remember we talked about the narcissist was a whole distraction. Nala, that's too loud. Nala, yeah. uh, that, could you turn that off, please? Thank you. Sorry, okay, can you turn it off? It's off? Okay, thank you. All right, so we were talking about the narcissist was a whole distraction. So after we finished that live stream, uh, the Lord began to deal with me about focus okay focus y'all focus 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 is very very serious and i want to talk to you about this area because it matters how you shift from focus you know so you're, you're gonna shift your focus from fragments you know to fullness but you know what before you do that, you got to shift your focus away from foolishness, okay? That's going to be a subtopic on tonight because if we don't cover this foolishness, then you are not going to get the full picture. You understand what I'm saying? And I think I'm, I may just go and uh, tweak that in the topic as well, y'all. Thank you so much for hitting the, um, the like button. Y'all, focus is so important. And right now, there's a lot of information going, uh, you know, going out about, you know, distractions and delay, distractions and delay. So when I tell you that God is really doing something with this, with these particular topics, you got a lot of people talking about it. And I really didn't see how many people were really talking about this thing until we actually got into the live stream ourselves, you know, ourselves. And, and then I started hearing different places, you know, I was going different places and I was looking, I was like, oh my goodness, like these people, like this is really something that is happening right now in a lot of different communities is this distraction and delay because truly one leads to the other. Okay. But when we're talking about focus, we have have to talk about it from the perspective of first we're going to talk about building on the foundation and then i'm going to talk to you about how we're going to shift okay now when we talk about your focus when we talk about uh the the things that because when we literally when we're talking about focus we're literally talking about the things that are important to us okay the things that are important to us so when you're talking you're talking about focus let's let's uh talk about driving a car when you're driving a car you're sitting there driving that car and you are focused on what's ahead of you okay but when we're talking about life a lot of times in life because you're not right in front of a you're, you're not in front of a, a steering wheel you don't you're not necessarily always focused on what's in front of you come on i need y'all to walk with me somebody is gonna get this in a minute a lot of times as we are processing and walking through life we're focused on more things that are behind us come on here somebody than something that is in front of us god bless you patrice i see you sis thank you for the cash app god bless you thank you for sewing see this is what we have to talk about because your focus if you're moving forward in life your focus can't be on the things behind you so this is why we have to talk about this because a lot of times what's behind us is foolishness you understand what i'm saying which leads to and i'm gonna tell you what what leads to the foolishness focusing on the foolishness is the fragments when you focus on fragmentation why are we talking about this because listen when we literally 
were raised up in environments. And y'all know how I feel about emotions. You understand what I'm saying? Talking about emotions and how they play a part in our lives each and every day. Now, when we're talking about focus, you know, we 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 don't want to so much focus on the emotion. You need to focus on facts. You understand what I'm saying? But let's go back to the foundation. A lot of times what you have to understand is the things that you focus on, which are the things that are important to you, are going to be the things that were highlighted around you as a child. If you had parents or if you had caretakers that would focus on, you had to wear your clothes a certain way, you had to iron them a certain way, they had to look a certain way, come on here. Then guess what? When you get older, what are you going to do, Angela Cheney? You are going to press your clothes. You are going to make sure that your clothes are squared away. If men, if y'all had this whole thing on, uh, you got to have your shoes shined and everything, and you don't walk on the side, of, you don't walk on the side of your shoes, <laughs> and your shoes need to be upright on your feet. Hello, somebody. And that was important. Then guess what? You are going to focus on your footwear. You gonna make sure that your shoe game is tight, ladies. If you if you're not one of those ladies that uh, was uh, that walked on the uh, what do they call that thing? You know how how some folks walk on the heel of a <laughs> walk on the heel of a shoe, and th and that bad boy is peeled back at the bottom. That thing is peeled back, and all you see is the nail down there. You know that thing that's holding it. That thing that's holding it together. Come on, Facebook. So if that's all you see, you know what I'm saying? Then you probably will grow up, you know, doing so. But if you don't see that and when you actually, if you see that thing coming apart at the bottom, you don't take them shoes to the shoe shop. Or you're going to turn around and say, you know what? I'm done with these shoes. Let me go get something else. But you're not going to walk around on the floor with them heels clicking on, you know, the nail <laughs> click, you know, clack, 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 clack. You know what I'm saying? On the floor. Why? Because you were taught to focus on your feet and make sure that you are in some good shoes. I know, I see you. I know you hollering, Leandra. I, and listen, it's funny, but is it not true? Where's the lie? <laughs> Where is the lie? D see, I got to bring it back. Being Nurse Sylvia, I got to bring it back down to the foundation. Because if I don't bring it back to the foundation, you're going to be sitting there like, wait a minute. Okay, so but how did I get here? No, this is how you did it. You see what I'm saying? This is how it happens. So when we're talking about focus, now, if you one of those people where they where your mother told you those shoes done had it, you walking on the side of the hill and the hill is slanted like this on the side. So, you know, the, the bigger part is on the inside. And then, the, you know, this part over here is worn down. You need to get rid of those shoes. They're done. They're finished. Okay. So, <laughs> Joe, I see you. So they finished. You get rid of them. So guess what? When you get older, you focus on your shoe game. You make sure your shoe game is tight. You know what I'm saying? So this is how, this is what drives us, Facebook. This is what drives us, people. Listen, family. So once you learn what are the important things in life, okay? Now, mind you, a lot of times when we're learning these different focuses and things like that, help me, Holy Ghost. It's not something that's really focused on the deep things in life. Most of us weren't sat there. Nobody sat us down and talked to us and told us, listen, if you focus on what's behind you, you're going to mess around and run into something. You see what I'm saying? They don't, <laughs> Leandra said her stomach hurt. I know that's right, but it's the truth. You need clickety clackety clack, clack, clack. Yeah. That's how it is. You know, they just, they, they be, and honey, you better not tell them they ain't cute. Because you tell them they ain't cute, you're going to have a fight on your hands, okay? Somebody is going <laughs> to be ready to knock you in the head with one of them shoes. <laughs> no, not for real. But, you know, they'll be ready to, you know, take off one of them shoes and, you know what I'm saying? But we understand. We understand. That's how they are. But when you learn to focus on the things that matter, that is going to cause a paradigm shift in your life, okay? 
The thing that the enemy loves is distractions. He loves that. Why? Because he understands that if he can distract you, then he can delay you. Hence the narcissist. So because a lot of us were just taught to focus on the things that were very surface in our lives. Listen, we were taught to focus on the things that were surface, not really the things that were deep. Were we taking the church? Yes. Were, did someone, did, did we, did a lot of us go to Sunday school? Yeah. Did you go to Bible study? Maybe. Did you go to prayer? Not really. You understand what I'm saying? So we weren't really taught that these were important things, Tasha. Uh, Tasha. And uh, uh, see, see, when you are taught the deep things and when you're taught that you have to focus, come on, that you have to focus on things and, and focus on completion, then that is the difference. Because if you don't focus on completion, you're going to be messed up. Tacoma, you are going to be messed up. And so this is why we have to jump back and we got to talk about this thing. We got to talk about this thing, V. Harrison, Chrissy Lovely, focusing on what matters instead of focusing on the foolishness, which, which the fragments, which cause you to be focused on the foolishness. So, so let me tell you what focusing on foolishness looks like. Thank you so much, Tim. He said, Queen T and family, I'm going to make sure <laughs> my shoes are tied because I don't want to fall for uh, anyone else but this tribe. I know that's right. To God be the glory. Come on, Tim. I'm telling you. Y'all cracking up because y'all know it's the truth. Y'all know y'all done seen that woman come up in the office with them with them heels tore off. <laughs> ah, you know you have. And you look down at her feet and just looked and was like this. Mm, mm, mm. You just really looked at him. It's like, I'm just trying to really fig figure out. Do you really know that them nails is clacking on this concrete right here? Honey, they be over there and you better not tell. They be sashaying around and don't see them out there outside of the building because, uh, you know, a lot of them be out there smoking outside the building. And, honey, they have that cigarette up in their hand like this. And, honey, they have they be sitting there smoking that thing. And then you looking down at them heels. Y'all don't y'all don't get me started tonight. And y'all looking at down at them heels. And, honey, they pulling on that cigarette so hard. The whole the, the, the two sides, of the, you know, both sides of the heads done caved in. And honey, you look at that like, you know, and you're looking down at them shoes. You know what I'm saying? And you're just like, wow, that is just really something else. You know what I'm saying? That is amazing that you could really be pulling on that cigarette like that. And them shoes is just messed up. You understand what I'm saying? And I mean, you just, I mean, and, and, and I'm telling you, they, they, honey, that thing just got, they got a whole swag, you know? <laughs> But it's just how they do. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and how do I know? Because I haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, Joe, this is what it is, Chelly. I'm telling you. Y'all know, don't get me started up in here because I will cut up. And y'all know it's the truth. That's why y'all laughing. You know what I'm saying? But this is the thing. When you get focused on, on, on this, this foolishness, okay, the fragments, and how, and what does that look like? So when you came out of the house with your parents and you were released out into the world and now you are now it's your turn to get out there and to do, you know, to make your decisions, make your friends, the people that you want to be involved with, all of that good stuff. Right. OK, there it is. So now what you're going to do is you are going to focus on the things that you were taught that were important. OK. That's what you are going to do. Because remember, most of us weren't talk, taught about the deep things. Like don't focus on a man that that uh, that uh, don't have anything or focus on somebody that's going to treat you like somebody. Not focus on a person and watch them to see if they were worthy of your love. No, you weren't taught that. No, you were taught to 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 be with someone that was that was going to love you and be kind to you. But how many of you going to testify that you were never taught to watch a person when you were when you were growing up, when you came out into the world? Who is going to testify by one in the chat 
that you were never taught to, wa to watch a person. You weren't taught to focus on the entire being. Let me put my one in there because I'm going to talk about myself. Okay. You weren't taught, you, you weren't taught to focus on that, that person and watch them for a cool minute. See, that's what the narcissist see. You see these ones coming up. See that? See that? Now that's what the narcissist does that we don't do, that we need to learn how to do. You understand what I'm saying? Because with the with the way that God has designed us, we have we are designed so beautifully. That your brain is able to do, Mimi Marcia. Come on, Deja. Your brain is able to do so many different things at one time. But why can't you focus? Focus on the things that matter. No, you weren't taught to focus and watch a person. Because you was too focused on the body parts. I'm talking about being focused on this fragments and foolishness. You understand what I'm saying? This is what lands you into the hands and the arms of a predator and an abuser. This is what does it. Why? Because when your focus is off, everything else is off. So then what happens is the narcissist was focused on you. They watched you the entire time. They watched you. They said, hmm, let me see. Let me see what this one got going on. Yep, I can see that they are thirsty. You know, I can see Facebook that they, you know, that they're really thinking that, you know, they really need someone. Because what y'all don't understand is that when a narcissist is focusing in on you all, when they're focusing on us, John, the narcissist knows what to look for. Why? Because the spirit that powers them teaches them how to really study an individual. But how is it that they can have more focus than we do when we supposed to have the Holy Spirit? Come on here. How is that? How is that? And I'm going to tell you how. Because a lot of times we're not walking around engaging in the things of the spirit. We're not allowing the spirit to lead us. Hello. We're not allowing the spirit to lead us. We are leading ourselves. And we're led away by the fragments. Why? Because fragments was a part of your foundation. So you, you begin to focus on the fragments. Therefore, whatever you focus on, meaning you thinking, wait a minute, I'm going to give you some revelation. Y'all ready? Here we go with the revelation. Whatever a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So come on, Miss P, if you are focused on the fragments, guess what you're going to draw in your life? Hello, lights. Just by you sitting there focusing on the fragments, guess what? Guess what? You are sitting here focused on fragments. Why? Because that's who you are. That's all you know. That's all you know. That's all you know. So guess what? When you are focused on that, that is what that's the that's the energy. That is the that's the transmission that you are radiating out into the world. Guess who picks up on that? Exactly. The narcissist picks up on that. Why? Because they are focused. They are focused. They're focused, but you just think it. You're thinking I'm fragmented. You're thinking I'm just, I, I don't know what to do. I'm really just fragmented. Guess what the narcissist is doing? They're picking up on that very thought that you have. So when you are fragmented and you're, you're engaging in foolishness, like you're talking about, the narcissist comes over and say something to you. They can say something real simple. Uh, hey, queen, or hi, beautiful. And you answer Oh, hi. Yeah, how's everything? How's everything with you? Guess what? You didn't, you, they know that you did not give them permission to call you anything, Doretha, other than your name. Anything other than your name. But yet you answered to something that you never gave them permission to call you. Why? Because you're focused on fragments. You're focused on fragments. Well, at least he talked to me. At least he said something. 
or at least she said something at least she at least she gave me some conversation no no this is how the enemy is destroying people is because you won't come out of that fragmented thinking and you're so focused on the foolishness and the fragments that you can't focus on the future why because you're bound by fragments you're bound by a fragmented mentality that is focused on destroying who you are why because you make bad choices and i'm not just talking about you this message is for me too this message is for me too you make bad choices when you are focused on fragments and the enemy knows this and this is why sakina this is why the enemy wants to keep people like the narcissist in your life because he already know if i can keep people like that in, in in this person's life i'm going to severely delay this person i'm going to slow them down to the place where they're not going to be able to do anything why why are you not going to be able to do anything because you can't move forward when your mindset is still in the back oh i need somebody to get that right there you cannot move forward when your mindset and your perspective maddie matthews has not changed focused on the fragments well i'm gonna go out here and i'm gonna get me you know i'm well, well, this this is fragmented thinking now listen this is fragmented thinking well i'm gonna go out here because see you know the way to get over one man is to get under another one hello you ain't stopping nothing over here you ain't stopping nothing over here that is the dumbest thing ever that person might not uh, come on erica johnson might not be stopping anything but what are you gonna do when you keep jumping karen tillman from man to man and your body parts in certain areas is dragging the ground because it's woe out so when you do finally get married then you're gonna try to put all of these mandates on the man that you married when he got a whole uh ocean down there that he got to figure out how he's gonna uh, uh, uh navigate that hello somebody come on talk to me talk to me this is what fragmentation does because you feel like you just need somebody i just feel like i just need somebody but when you feel like you just need somebody you wasn't the only one that heard that the enemy heard it too so then he sent this whole portal into your life called a narcissist why do you call him a narcissist that's right miss p <laughs> yeah they they done they done went deep sea diving they ain't coming out they got to get the fire trucks come get them up out of there they got to fish them out of the manhole and you thinking that you sitting there, uh, 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 no, no, no. But you want to put mandates on the one that comes at no. Because you, you know what you did? You settled for fragmented, fragmentation instead of focusing on what was going to bring you fullness. You understand what I'm saying? I'm talking about the things that, that fragmentation brings come on thank you so much louise god bless you for that generous super chat god bless you sis it's the truth mr miller come on come on joe roy because listen if you understand if you understand that you sometimes when you're dealing in certain situations you only have one shot at it where's the lie you only have one shot if you mess it up you messed up you're not going to get that. Nobody is cut. They're not going to give you another try on that. That's it. You had one shot at that Facebook one shot. But if you focused on the foolishness and the fragmentation, it's not going to happen for you. Why is it not going to happen? Because you didn't take the time to examine the situation properly. Why? Because the way you think about yourself is done messed you all the way up. It's messed you up. Thank you so much, HT. God bless you for that generous super sticker. God bless you, my brother. Thank you so much for that. This is how you get there. And this is how you spin your wheels over and over and over again. Why? Because your focus is on the fragmentation 
and the fragmented things in life. You don't even realize when you're dealing with a narcissist that you're dealing with a fragmented individual. Why? I see you, Karen. Thank you so much. God bless you, sis. You don't even understand. You don't even know that you're dealing with a fragmented individual. And you know why you don't know? Because you're fragmented. That's why. Because it's so familiar to you. Remember, the enemy is not going to bring you cigarettes when that's not your thing. If you like Jack Daniels and you trying to quit drinking, why would he bring you cigarettes? He going to bring you Jack Daniels uh, brown. He going to bring, bring you Jack Daniels black. He going to bring you Jack Daniels. I don't know. They do all kinds of stuff with liquor now. Jack Daniels with bacon in it. Jack Daniels with cake in it. You know what I'm saying? He, that's what he's going to bring you. That's it. 9818, a fragmented soul. You got to learn how to focus and push past the fragmentations and push towards wholeness. Tell you something else. You don't recognize what's happening to you when you're in this trauma bond and you're and you're being and I'm talking about the enemy is rocking and reeling and knocking you five ways from Friday, but you don't even understand that that is unnatural. Why? Because it was a part of your fragmented foundation. You don't even understand that you under a witchcraft spell. You don't understand it. It's so similar to the way that you grew up and the dysfunctionality that you don't realize that now you have been put, I mean, your whole soul has been chained up. Your whole soul has been captured. Your soul is literally incarcerated because you have allowed this, this portal into your life in the form of a narcissist focused on the fragments, focused on fragmentation. So now you got this person that has come into your life. And a lot of times now the trauma bond, let me talk about, let me stop and park right here. Cause I want to talk about this trauma bond. I want to draw the comparison and I want to talk to you about how it is when your soul is tied up. And I'm going to tell you, y'all, please make sure y'all get out here on next Thursday. We want to pack this chat out. We want to really get, I, I, we want to dig in and listen. When I tell you Pastor Kevin Ewing is going to be here on next Thursday, when I tell you that this man of God is, he lays it down and he plays no games. Okay. He don't play no games and everything he does, he backs up with scripture. This is what I love about his work. But he's going to talk to you. He's going to talk to you about narcissism. He's going to he's going to put some of that in there and talk about how you become bound and the witchcraft behind it. You don't even know that you under a spell because some of y'all were witch sorcerers. Some of y'all were with witches. Some of y'all were with warlocks. Some of y'all had a whole wizard. Some of y'all had a whole wizard. They up in there feeding you everything. Okay, messed up, got you jacked up five ways from Friday. You know why? Because you didn't even understand that what they were bringing to you was unnatural. You didn't understand that, listen, I'm feeling bad and I'm feeling depressed. I'm feeling down. You know, you can't, uh, can't figure things out. You're confused. Your brain is in a fog. You got all kinds of things going on. Those are the same symptoms that you have when you are literally under witchcraft power. And some of y'all have really been fed some stuff. It took, uh, and, and if you want to really testify and talk about when you came out of that thing, you, it, it, you almost lost it off up in there focused on the fragments. See, when God comes in and changes your foundation, when you allow him to dig up what's there and you allow him to go down deep. And this is why I say, when I pray, I said, Lord, go into the deep recesses of our souls because that's what's fragmented. Your soul has to be made whole for you to go from fragmented to fullness. That's why I tell you that healing is not the goal, not just healing. 
You got to go from healing to wholeness. It's where you have to go. Because when you understand that wholeness presents different, it, it presents different, fullness presents different, man, you will never go back to the fragmented foundation that you had. You can't focus on fullness when you have a mentality of fragments. It's not possible. It's just not possible. So we're talking about it tonight because when you understand that you have to be ye transformed, come on here, by the renewing of your mind, then you will understand that it is important that you learn how to come out of being focused on fragments. You got to some, and I told you all this last week, sometimes you just got to think your way out of situations. What does that mean? You got to think your way out of that. You have to think in your mind that you are whole. Come on. You got to think in your mind that I'm focused on fullness. You have to think in your mind that there's no more foolishness going to be allowed in my camp. You have to think that because that's where it starts. That's where it starts, especially when you've been taught something completely opposite. Thank you so much, uh, healing in your silence. She said, I was deprived of love and affection growing up that when the narc gave me crumbs, it felt like Christmas. Love you, family. You see that? Thank you so much, sis. You see that? This is how it happens. Now, let me just, let me stop, let me stop real quick. And I want to explain to you all what a portal is, okay? When I call the narcissist a portal, I'm going to explain to you what that means. A portal is literally something that is opened in your life that allows, a, uh, allows the demons or allows them to have demonic access to your soul, Okay. It allows, it's, it's something that you have come in agreement with in your life that allows demons to have access to your soul. Now, y'all might not know this, but a narcissist is a walking portal. Why? Well, they lie, they cheat, they steal. Um, you know, they don't have uh, the Holy Spirit, okay? They are literally possessed with demonic forces. Now listen, watch this. When you come in agreement with that by locking up with that in your soul, Kathy, or Letitia Lightfoot, I see you. When you come in agreement with that, guess what? When you lock up with a narcissist Facebook, you have literally opened up that part of your soul for demonic attack. So basically, this let me draw the picture for you. So it's like a, a huge hole that they come. When you come in agreement with those spirits and those things that they're doing, you don't have to do them yourself. It's just the fact that you have come, you have allowed this person into your life and you have intertwined with this person and now you've become one flesh with them. Why? Because you're sleeping with them. Now you're in agreement with all of these wicked covenants and, and demonic portals that they have open. So they have direct access to you. This is how it happens. So what happens? Now you start to feel bad. You start to, this is where, be focused on fragmentation. This is where it leads you. Right on over here to a whole 300 pound portal laying in your bed. You understand what I'm saying? This part. Now you start feeling bad. You unmotivated. You can't seem to get your thoughts right. You can't seem to get anything right. You 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 go to work. You're like, why is, why am I feeling this way? Then the narcissists tell you that it's all your fault. You did this. They tell you that you're the reason that they feeling bad. Everything they blame on you. And you're feeling like, what in the world is happening here? Thank you, Vanessa, please. Hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all do that for me. You sitting there like, what in the world just happened here? What happened was you came into an agreement with someone that was already in agreement with the kingdom of darkness. So now what they suffer and the things that they go through, now you're going to be going through it too. That's a whole portal because you're fragmented. This is why we, this is why I have to pound. You got to go from healing to wholeness. You got to go from fat fragmented to fullness. 
Because if you don't understand this and you don't make the transition in your mind, if you don't change your perspective, Deja, you are going to absolutely continue to draw this in your life. Why? Because the whole mission, goal, and purpose is destruction of you. Listen, the narcissist already gave themselves over to it. They don't care nothing about what you what you doing. They are there to you are you are the person that they get up and get to torment every day, Janet Foot. They get to torment you every day. They live to do it. They live to do it. And if you be honest with yourself, thank you so much. I see you on the um. Thank you, Jonita. I see you. God bless you. If you be honest with yourself. You'll say, you know what? There was not really a day that I was with this clown that I really felt like I was making a difference in the relationship. If you really be honest with yourself, it was all an illusion. Because as soon as you did something that you thought was wonderful and great, guess what the guess what the narcissist did? Sir King, Ivy, the narcissist went back and told you, well, I wish you could have done it like this. And I wish you could have probably done it like that because, you know, so and so. And then they're going to start comparing you to other people. That's because you're fragmented, fragmented. That's what happens. But see, wholeness, wholeness shows up real different. Fullness shows up real different. How do I know that it shows up real different? Because, see, what you have to understand is, is that a lack of focus produces failure in areas of your life. See, when you focus on the fragments, you are going to for sure produce failure in areas of your life. Why? Because it's fragmented. It's fragmented. This is why you have to learn to focus on the facts. Come on. I'm taking you somewhere. You got to learn how to focus on the facts. Don't miss this. Not your feelings, not, not focus on your feelings about the facts. Oh, I need y'all to hear me. Did you hear what I said? You have to learn how to focus on the facts and not your feelings about the facts. This is how you get into that fragmentation is being led by your emotions, being led by something that is temporal. That's fragmented thinking. That is fragments leading you. Why? Because your emotions and your feelings are not facts. It's not facts. This is why a lot of times, even when you're dealing with a narcissist and you see the things that they're doing to you, you see the things that they're saying to you, all of that, you know that. But guess what? You can't focus on the facts because your fragmented foundation has you focused on the feelings about the facts. Hello, lights. Hello, lights. You can't focus on the facts because the fragmentation of who you are has you focused on the feelings about the facts. So you focused on something that just that is just temporal. That's not even, it's not even, yeah, your feelings are real. Yeah, you really felt that. But when you allow your feelings to run your life and to drive you, that's a, that, that, you know what that is? You know what that is? I'm gonna tell you what that is. That's a double-minded individual. Where's the lie? Where's the lie? Are we breaking it down? Because I need you to understand this. You understand what I'm saying? That's a double-minded individual. Why? Because your feelings could go this way one minute, go that way the next minute, go this way one minute, and that way the next minute. You are a double-minded man. And what does the Bible say about a double-minded man? A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. And that's, that's synonymous for woman too. So when you're talking about going from this fragmented foundation, listen, God wants to put you in a place because see, we think that we're supposed to be proud of different things. And a narcissist, the narcissist, the way that they run shop is they run their shop off of pride and lies. 
You understand what I'm saying? Pride and lies. This is why it's so important that you pull yourself back, examine your fragmented foundation and transition into, into fullness. And that can only be done when you show up whole in the world. You got to show up whole. Because if you don't show up whole, Deborah Enard, this is what's going to happen to you. Why? Because you're going to be on the radar for toxic people. Whole looks different. Let me tell you how whole looks, Sharice Brown. Whole looks different. Whole looks like uh, they slide up to you. Hey, beautiful. This is what whole looks like. Fullness, wholeness. This is what happens when you're dealing with fullness and wholeness. You do that to a person <laughs> that's, that's operating in fullness and wholeness. Guess what? You slide up in there, talk about, hey, beautiful. Hey, sunshine. Hey, gorgeous. They don't know you from a can of paint. Guess what? Wholeness says blocked. Fullness said block. Okay? Block. Let me tell you how wholeness, this is how wholeness and fullness shows up. When you get ready to go out with, with, the, with the person that has asked you out on a date and you get out there to the date and this person is telling you that y'all gonna go Dutch and split the tab. Let me tell you what wholeness and fullness looks like. Get up and walk away from the table. I won't be back. How you going to ask me to come to a whole restaurant and then tell me that you are going, we're going to split the check. Now, some people might be okay with that. Some people might be all right and say, well, you know, that's okay with me. No, I'm not. Well, you're not going to take my time and tell me to come and, and meet you at a restaurant and then tell me to pay half the check. See, wholeness and fullness just get up and walk away from the table. You just look different. You show up in the world different. See, this is what it what, what it looks like is when you tell them that you got a 9 p.m. deadline. Hello, somebody. Don't call me or text me after 9 p.m. And they hit you at 907. Let me tell you what wholeness and fullness does. Wholeness and fullness doesn't even ask for explanation. They don't even ask for what happened, especially when you're just getting to know somebody. Mm -mm. That's just, you know, don't call me again. And me, I just, let me just, go. I love, let me just go ahead and hit this little block because this block is just real wonderful right about now. That's what it's about. You cannot protect and build your foundation when you don't fortify your foundation. Did you hear what I said? You cannot protect and build your foundation if you don't fortify your foundation. And the only way you can fortify your foundation and get to wholeness and fullness is that you got to bring something that is outside of yourself that you're going to be able to insert. You're going to be able to apply to the situation something that is beyond who you are, something that is beyond the fragmented foundation that you were. Come on. You got to be able to apply the blood and apply the word of God to your foundation. That's the only way you're going to get away from fragmentation. The only way. There is no other way around this. There's not a new age crystal you can buy. There's not a new age this that you can do and that that you can do. No. No. And why do you want to get to that place? You want to get to wholeness so you can see pride is not of God. And that's a lot of times what keeps us stuck in the situations with these narcissists. Why? We got so much pride because, you know, we are people pleasing individuals and, and we just, I just, I don't want them to be mad at me. I don't care if you're mad at me because what, what matters right now is that my focus is on being full because see what fragmentation has bought me is a lot of pain in my past and it's brought me the process of walking forward but looking backwards running into everything that's in front of me why because I'm not focused so let me try something different pride is something that will pride is something that will mess you up it'll trip you up every time see that's what that's what narcissists operate in 
And see, the, the but see, the Bible says that the righteous shall stand bold as lions. See, wholeness gives way to boldness. That's what happens. When you are whole, when you have that fullness in your life and the fragmented foundation has been smoothed over, and guess what it's been smoothed over by? By you understanding that the lessons that you learned in life, these were not lessons meant to destroy you. You understood. See, you can you can smooth over the, the fragments. How do you do that? You got to change your perspective. Change your perspective about how you see the fragments in your life. Okay, so now I'm looking at this fragmented foundation. And, you know, I'm seeing this is like, this is not a lesson that I just necessarily, I, I had to, uh, yeah, I went through it. But not only did I just uh, go through it, but I grew through it. So now that doesn't look like it's got holes everywhere. Why? Because you're building on a lesson now. You're building on something that is solid. You're building on something that is now going to hold another building being put on top of it. What is the building that's going to be put on top of it is that boldness and that wholeness that you are that you're going to be experiencing. Why? Because now I've decided you have to decide that you're not going to be fragmented. You have to decide that you are going to focus on fullness, wholeness, and boldness. You got to decide that that's what you're going to do. That just doesn't happen. Because the enemy, as long as he can put thoughts in your mind. Remember, this is the battlefield. The thoughts that he puts there. Is always going to be something that will make you imagine one of the most, some of the most damnable things that could ever happen to you. That's his job. Listen, he's faithful to what he does. He is faithful to his job of annoying the mess out of us. Why aren't we faithful in focusing? Focusing on the things that God has done for us. Thank you so much, Avella. I see you on the uh, PayPal, sis. Focusing on the things that God has put before us. Some of you missed out on some situations, on some business deals that could have totally elevated you to a completely different class, social class, messing around with fragmentation. You got jacked up and the enemy jacked you out of your blessing. This is why we have to focus. You got to focus. Because see, when you focus, that, that fullness and that wholeness brings about a boldness. And see, a lot of times we're thinking, oh, we just need to go back and do this and do that. And, and I'm going to tell you something else. When you decide that this is the way that you're going to operate. When you decide, y'all hit that like button and share, share, share. Hit that like button and share the stream. When you decide that you're going to do this thing different and you're going to shift your focus, there is a pair. When you decide that, just when you decide, decide that, there's a paradigm shift in the realm of the spirit. Why? Because now you are not just deciding to do it. You are thinking it. And the Bible says, whatever, uh, whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So you are sending out these signals in the realm of the spirit. Why? Because now you've decided that this is the way that you're going to be. But ah, uh, there's a missing piece here. You can't do any of this without discipline and maturity. Hello, wall. Hello, wall. You can't do it without discipline and maturity. Why? Because maturity brings about a different thought process. Maturity brings about a different process and way of thinking. Maturity teaches you to shift your perspective. Not so much as what happened, but what caused it to happen. Oh, I need y'all to hear me tonight. 
Not so much as what happened, but what caused it to happen. This is what maturity brings about. And then once you step into the shoes of maturity, then what we do is we harness. We harness the discipline because maturity is required in order to be disciplined. Oh, well, I just need somebody else to, I just need people around me to show me this and show me that. Yes, you probably do. Yeah. Yeah. But you do need some discipline, too. You do need to stop going out with your girlfriends and having four or five glasses of wine till you just five sheets to the wind. You understand what I'm saying? And then by the time you get home, you done sobered up a little bit. But now you're going to call up on you're going to call up Tyrone. Call on Tyrone. Yeah. Tell him, come on, help you get. Yeah, that part. <laughs> you gonna call on Tyrone. Because now you just need somebody to make you feel good. No, that's not what it's about. When we learn focus, we have to learn how to shift our perspective from faulty thought patterns, from fragmented thinking. No, you're not going to do that until you mature. And then once you mature, you got to get to the place of being disciplined in that maturity. You are never going to achieve anything great in this life without understanding how to mature in God and to, and, and to have discipline. Why? Why would God give you the best that you could ever have in this life when you belong to him and you're going to make him, you're going you're gonna to cause him to be embarrassed? I'm going to let, just let you sit with that for a minute. Yeah, sure, I'll let you become a billionaire. <clears throat> sure, I'll let you become that. I'm going to let you become a billionaire. And you over here telling everybody that, that uh, you that oh, the Lord did it for me. And then two, two years later, three years later, you're down to zero, nothing. Who is that going to draw? Thank you, Marilyn. I see you. God bless you, sis. Thank you so much. We uh, we is a beautiful thing. Thank you so much. God bless you for that. Super sticker. I'm telling you, I need you to understand this is how it works. God is not going to do that. You are not going to get out there and embarrass him. And let me just tell you something else. Y'all ready for this? This is not the time. This See, this is why you got to, you got to, you need to really listen to this message. That being focused. You got to learn how to focus. This is not the time to be getting rid of, uh, of your enemies. This ain't the time to be getting rid of enemies. Because if you take this lesson and you really learn this and you really take it to heart, you know what, what you're going to do? I'm going to tell you what you're going to do. Thank you so much. Uh, is it uh, Strat Stratazen X? Thank you so much. God bless you for that generous uh, super sticker. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. If you take this lesson to heart, what's going to happen is you are going to build that foundation and you're going to set yourself up to be blessed in a supernatural way. Why? Because God knows that if you learn how to focus on fullness and get rid of that fragmented thinking and stop focusing on the things that will lead you into fragmented ideas, fragmented situations. What is going to happen to you? You are showing him that, listen, I am ready. I have matured to the place where I am disciplined and I'm ready to go with this thing. Guess what he's going to do? Now, when you get to that place, hold on, y'all. Y'all ready? When you get to that place, you better look for the haters to come. You better look for the enemies to come. They are going to surround you. And that's the way it's supposed to happen. Don't get mad at your enemies. They are coming because it's time for you to be showcased in the earth. God said, listen, you are standing, you, you, are, you, you are presenting with wholeness and I have given you the boldness because you are whole, you understand now who you are. So now this is what I'm going to do for you because now I can trust you. 
You've learned a lesson from the fragmented situations and thinking that you used to have and that used to have your focus as well. Now you're focused on the future. You're focused on fullness. No longer are you walking forward, but focused on the things behind you. No, you're not doing that anymore. Why? Because the maturity has brought about the discipline and now you are disciplined and mature in the realm of the spirit. You show up different. God is saying, okay, you ready now. You are ready. And then you're going to see, why is all of these people attacking me? They're supposed to, because then he said he would prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. Why are you tripping? Because he gave you one of the same things that he has. He said, heaven is my throne, but the earth is my footstool. But he also told us that he will make your enemies your footstool. What does that mean? That means that if he's going to make your enemy your footstool, that means that the very thing that you that you lay your foot upon, you have power and authority over that situation. I need somebody to just put some flames in the chat for Jesus. OK, because this is what happens when you go from fragmented to fullness. Come on. And you show up with wholeness and boldness. He prepares a table for you instead of you being you instead of you being distracted, delayed and destroyed. No, be focused and move from the fragments to the fullness so you can get from so you can get to wholeness and boldness. That requires maturity and discipline. That part. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because we got to learn this. If we don't understand this thing, let me put my flames in the chat because listen, God did a wonderful thing when he showed us how to do this thing. He didn't just tell us, oh, you can't do it this way. You can't do it. No, he gave us a roadmap. He didn't just leave us messed up. He gave us a roadmap, family. Thank you so much, Janice Mays, for that generous super sticker. This is what happens. You have to see in order for you to possess the land, in order for you to possess what God has given to you and for in order for you to hold on to it and not be and the enemy, not be able to take it from you. As soon as you get it, you've got to learn how to operate in boldness. You got to learn how to do that. You got to, and the only way that you can operate in that God-given boldness, because he said it in his word, he said, the righteous shall stand bold as lions. Come on here, Facebook. I need y'all to hit that like button and share this message. This is going to set some folks free. Stop being focused on the fragments. The fragments will only get you to fragmented people and fragmented foundations, fragmented everything, get you more narcissists churning in and out of your life. And the devil is a liar. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. You got to be able to harness that focus inside of you, which is located inside of your spirit, man. Come on. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you and you begin to allow the spirit of the living God to illuminate that soul and bring in revelation where the fragments once were, then you can look at that foundation and no longer are you seeing fragments anymore. Why? Because the lesson has been learned. And you're ready to build upon what was once broken, desolate, and torn down. It's about building and moving forward. It can't happen without focus. It just cannot happen. Without focus on fullness, wholeness, and boldness. That's what it's about. Thank you, Deborah. God bless you, Deborah Bond, for that generous super sticker. Family, I want y'all to really, really listen. Because, listen, times are changing so rapidly. People are, I see you, Joy. Thank you so much, sis. 
God bless you. My sister is in the house. Y'all make sure y'all get over and um, y'all make sure y'all get over and subscribe to her channel and Chelly as well. Oh, Vanessa has a channel too. Thank you so much, Tim. Uh, healing in your silence. Y'all make sure y'all get over and uh, support Vanessa. Tim says, it's like we're in a boat rowing as fast as we can. Some of our friends, homies are like anchors holding, ooh, holding us back. Hold on. That part. Want us to party, drink. Want us to listen to the enemy. Time enemy time to let them go stay strong god bless you you know what what he said right there is a whole word that's a whole word you know why because a lot of times a lot of reasons why uh one god one name a lot of times the reason why you can't get ahead is because you can't get over these fragmented people in your life it's not just you that's fragmented. I love that, Tim. Thank you so much. God bless you for that. Because it's the truth, Alice Taylor. Thank you so much, sis. It's the truth. You got these people around you that literally is encouraging you. Tiffany, thank you so much. I see you. God bless you, sis. That's literally encouraging you to stay in a place where your soul is literally incarcerated. You are shackled in the realm of the spirit. Shackled. And you wonder why you keep drawing these types of people to you. Orlando says, uh, once the parental alienation is over, I have a lot to teach daughters about the spirit of a man. Yes. Thank you so much for that generous uh, super chat, uh, Orlando. Uh, Roby, God bless you. Roby J says, you are serving some strong medicine called wisdom. Oh, God, help me tonight. I, amen. All I can say is ouch and thank you. It's the truth. I Listen, I, I love you all. I just don't want, you are supposed to, listen, if you here, if you are here in this live stream, it's because you're not satisfied with the, with the status quo. You're not satisfied with that. You're looking for something deeper. You want to go deeper because you want to go higher. You can't do that when you have people around you that are going to, like Tim say, they're going to be those anchors. And see, what you don't understand is that the anchor is not just it's sitting in the ground. The anchor gets dropped on you. Because what I'm going to tell you how it gets dropped on you. Watch this all of the trash that they experience in their life call me a liar listen you know it's the truth all of the trash that they experience in their lives they bring it to you come on joy all of the everything when they going through with all of their different men they bring that trash to you whenever they don't broke up with this one and that one and the third they bring it to you whenever they are they sitting up there buying what they want and then turn around and have to beg for what they need they bring that to you come on i'm showing you how they drop anchors on you they're putting packages and boxes and things on you for you to be down in the ground just like the anchor, the anchor was dropped on you oh god help me tonight you gotta listen when you are focused on fullness when you are shifting into wholeness and boldness you don't have time for them you say you got i don't know where you're going but you got to get up out of here you and them uncovered clackety clack heels you sir with them heels running over on the side and your shirt is too short and the pants is too. So you got the whole underside of your belly hanging over that and it's showing. You have to go because that is not fitting my future. Okay. These are people that, and this is how they're showing up. And you're looking at that. And if that doesn't bother you, come on, we got to do something different. You have to think of yourself as being different. In order to be that thing, I keep going back to that scripture. Whatsoever a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But the Bible also says that bad company corrupts good morals. You got to get from around these people. You got to surround yourself 
with people that have already shifted in that mindset and perspective. You have to be around people that are ready to, that, that are already demonstrating that boldness in the realms of the spirit. And you see it manifesting as all of the beautiful, positive things that they have in their lives. Have you ever noticed one thing about wealthy people? A lot of times, wealthy people that's just really got it like that, most of them are, are loners. Most of them don't have a lot of friends. Most of them do not have a lot of friends. You have to learn how to be around people that are going to support your new mission, your new perspective, your new boldness, your new wholeness. And the only way that you're going to do that is that you have to mature in the realm of the spirit and you have to possess discipline. Sitting up there being around these people that's talking trash all day, letting all types of trash fall out of their mouths. Y'all say y'all got some folks that some folks around there, they'll tell they sitting up there talking about go to H-E double hockey sticks and y'all sitting up there laughing about it. They just pronounced a curse over your life. That's not funny. That's the type of garbage and trash I'm talking about. That's what has to be given up. It has to, because if you don't learn to get out of the company of these types of people, the demonic energy that they possess, it you will never allow you to move over into that place of wholeness, the, over into that place of fullness. And you shown up ain't going to get the boldness. Forget that. You're going to be messed up because you in agreement with the trash around you. Come on here. Lisa Marie, Steve, this is how it works. The enemy loves to keep you surrounded with trash. Trash is for a landfill. It's for a landfill. It's not meant to be on your property or where you tread your foot upon. How many of you all going to walk out to a landfill and begin to walk over the landfill hollering wherever the wherever I put I tread my feet upon the Lord says that it belongs to me. Nobody's going out to a landfill doing that trash. No. So if you're not going to go out there and do it, why would you let the trash come in your house and do it? No. You don't allow people like that in your life. You got to get rid of that. That's why it's important that 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 shift and that focus, that that shift in your mind has to happen. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Because if you don't, the enemy show knows about it. He know. He like, oh, you ain't solid in this thing. Thank you so much, Dora Russell. God bless you. She said, you're such a blessing. Tell you. God bless you, sis. Thank you for that generous super sticker. See, if you don't, it, it, yeah, that's it, Joe. Holy Ghost boldness. You got to get it in your mind that this is the way that you're going to walk. No more of me sitting here being focused on fragments because my foundation and my way of thinking is fragmented. No, I did go through a lot of things. I did. That is true. That is true. That's a fact. But what's also a fact is not is that I'm not defined by my past. Neither will I allow people around me to define me that way. Because the Bible says that if a man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Come on. Don't allow your past to determine your future. Because you can't move from fragmented to fullness. You can't move from brokenness to wholeness and then going on to boldness. Don't allow the enemy to do it to you. If you didn't have the power to make the paradigm, if you didn't have the power to change your mind and make that paradigm shift in your life, then the Lord wouldn't be sending this message. You have the power. And this is why the message is coming. Because there are some things that are coming down the line for you that you're going to have to be prepared to receive. 
You're not just receiving this information for just any old, oh, we just coming to the, no, 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 no. God doesn't do anything haphazardly. It's in the house. And that's why he said to me, you need to teach this. It's in the house. Some of y'all got stuff, and some of y'all got stuff, irons in the fire right now, Anna Marie Bowles. Come on, Desert Eagle 1955. Some of y'all, Loretta Moore, have y'all got irons in the fire right now. Y'all got stuff cooking right now. But the way that that thing is going to turn out is going to be determined by the way that you shift in the realm of the spirit. It requires maturity and it requires discipline. That's it. That's all. You have to, you have, in order to, in order to win in the realm of the spirit, which is the parent world, you're going to have to be mature. You're going to have to be disciplined. So tell them little hood rat, hooligans, hool, whatever you got, these fragmented people that were in your life, give them an exit stage left. We're doing great things over here. Matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and divorce good for great. And we're going to leave great at some point for excellent. And we're going to leave excellent at some point for superior because that's who we serve. He is the God of gods and the king of kings. He is superior over all. Watch yourself move up through the ranks. There's levels to this thing. There's levels. There's levels. So take this information and tell God, you know what? I'm going to take this and I'm going to really, really focus on fullness so I can move from brokenness to wholeness because you've called me to boldness. This is what it's about. This is what it's about, Star K. Edwards. The righteous are to stand bold as lions. The Bible says the kingdom of righteousness, kingdom of righteousness suffereth violence, but the violence taketh by force. How are you going to take something by force when you fragment it? The devil going to sit there and laugh at you. He's not, a, he's not afraid of your fragments. What he's afraid of is that you are bold and you are carrying the presence of the living God. That's what he's afraid of. You can't do that if you don't have a prayer life. You can't do that when your mind is not fortified with the word of God. You can't do that when you don't have the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that is governing your entire existence. Thank you so much, Boo Lashes. God bless you. Thank you for those stars. God bless you, sis. This is what it's about, y'all. And so we're praying. Father, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you so much for all of the, the beautiful people of God that are on this live stream tonight. Lord God, I just ask in the name of Jesus that you just come in the midst, that you be in the midst of this prayer. Lord, I thank you so much. We dispatch the angels right now, Lord God to go and surround your people. Lord, that this message did not fall on deaf ears, but Lord, this message shall find its place in a heart that is fertile and that is ready to receive and bring forth fruit that you would be pleased to call your own. So Father, you are from everlasting to everlasting. Yahweh, we thank you. You are Elohim. You are El Shaddai. Lord, you said that I am that I am. You are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, we fall down and worship you because you alone are worthy of the praise. God, we ask that you would remove any iniquity that is within us. Lord, we repent of sin. We uproot it. We overthrow it, God. We come out of agreement with it. Lord, we renounce it, Lord. We want to be whole, Lord. We want to pour out on your altar, God, everything that is not like you. Lord, that you would fill us up with the more of who you are. 
Father, there's so many dimensions. There's so many parts to who you are. We will never know the fullness of who you are in this mortal body. But one day we will be changed and we will be like you, God. Father God, you will always be the God of all creation. We will have a spirit man and we will have a new body one day, just like you. So Father, we just thank you right now. Lord God, I ask that you set the floors and the homes of the people watching, even those that would watch on the replay. Father, set the floors of our homes on fire. Permeate and saturate the atmospheres of our homes, Lord God, that the, that the glory of you would, it, would be bright and it would be luminous in our homes that no devil can stand under our roof. Father, we thank you right now. Lord, we thank you for how you blessed us in this stream. Lord, we thank you for the word that you sent on tonight. Lord, help us to be focused, God. Lord, open up the capacities of the reservoirs of our minds, God, to go down, Lord. We ask that your spirit go down to the deep recesses and the crevices of our minds which is synonymous for our hearts. Drag out every bit of wickedness, every bit of unrighteousness, everything that will cause us to be focused on fragmentation, to be focused on brokenness, that will cause us to walk forward, but yet we're focused on what's behind us. The devil is a liar. Father, drag out everything in us that will cause those things to happen. Lord, help us to mature in the realm of the spirit and to possess the discipline to walk a walk of faith and maturity in the realms of the spirit. Show us the different dimensions of what you have called us to be. Lord, that we won't miss it, that we will be able to lay hold to the things that you have called us to do and the people that you have called us to be in this earth realm. Lord, that we will produce the fruit that you are proud of. Lord, that, that we will produce the fruit that will say that they serve the God of all creation. Father, help us to move from brokenness to wholeness. Lord, help us to make the paradigm shift in our minds and give us the capacity to receive an expanded grace. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that your dear people here would be the partakers of the grace that is on my life as well, Lord. As they walk this walk, Lord, let them be bold enough to talk the talk and the two match up and line up, first of all, in the realms of the spirit to terrify all of hell, to violate all of the wicked altars with the presence of the living God that is inside of them. And altars don't necessarily have to be the altars that they are visiting, but sometimes the people in our lives represent altars that are set up in secret places and the enemy has sent them to be a distraction. Father, we thank you. We thank you that no longer will we continue to go over and around that bush over and over and over again. We will learn the lesson the first time and we will learn that lesson and we will move on to higher ground. We will begin to understand the dimensions in the realms of the spirit that you are trying to show us. We will understand how to speak the word of God out of our mouth and change atmospheres and shut down demonic frequencies and overthrow them in the name of Jesus and institute permanently 
the frequency of Christ. In the name of Jesus, God, speak revelation to our hearts. Oh God, by way of our spirit, man, let us go into the word and find the confirmation. Lord, let, let your people come to us by way of however you send them to confirm the word for you said in your word. Out of the mouth of two or three, let every word be established. Father, we thank you that this focus that we are now taking from this live stream is a divine focus. We are walking away from this stream better. We are walking away from this stream focused first on the things of God. And Father, you will direct us from there. Focus enough to know that wholeness will eventually lead to boldness. Focus enough to know that fragmentation can never lead us to the places that you have called us. But we are mature enough to know that we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And the only way that we can maintain those seats is that we maintain a right relationship with you. Father, give us a hunger and a thirst after righteousness. Lord, you said that you will fill us they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. You said it in your word. Father, we shut down the first and second heaven, God. In the name of Jesus, we shut down the four corners of our homes. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus over our families. Lord, our children. Oh, God, protect them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you permeate and saturate their minds. Help us to live the life before them. And not just before them, but God help us to live the life before the people that you have placed in our lives. Lord, that we will show forth the glory of you. For God, you said that if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Father, we lift you up in this place tonight. Father, let all souls be set aside as you be glorified in our lives. Lord, that we would decrease as you increase. Lord, that we can prophesy to the south wind in the name of Jesus and command the south wind to know that we are ready to be showcased in the earth. This is the wind that blows when you are ready to lift us up and exalt us. You said that in due season, we will be exalted if we faint not. Father, we apply the blood to every situation that we are placing before your throne tonight. Some people are, are, are applying the blood to their work situation, to their home situation, to their co-parenting or counter-parenting situation. Lord, we apply the blood to the financial situation. And Father God, we call in the resource from the four corners of this earth to drop down on us like a mighty wind in the name of Jesus. And Lord, may we be overtaken with your blessings in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that we shut down every demonic operation and every demonic frequency and system. We cancel and dismantle every assignment of the enemy. We remove the powers of demonic altars that are set against us. We break every demonic covenant in the name of Jesus. We dispatch the heavenly arsenals in the realm of the spirit to do battle with those evil principalities and wickedness in high places. We apply our heavenly arsenal to our situation that is existing in the realms of the spirit. Angels, we dispatch you to battle and contend with everything that is contending with us. May our enemies be scattered by force, by fire. By force, by fire. Let every enemy be scattered by force, by fire. Every attack is sent back to the pit. 
in the name of Jesus. Every familiar spirit is sent back to the pit. We cut your demonic ley line to our families. We uproot you. We overthrow your altars that you set up in the bloodlines. You are overthrown tonight by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the power to put the enemy in his place. Every demon manning these wicked demonic altars, we cause the angels, the warrior angels from the third heaven to place chains of fire around their necks and drag them back to the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus, we overthrow the altars and every covenant made at those altars, every witch, every warlock, every sorcerer, every wizard. God, in the name of Jesus, we bind their works of darkness, every psychic, every palm reader. Oh God, we bind their works of darkness in the name of Jesus. We overthrow them in the realms of the spirit, God. And we ask that you fortify our fortress. Oh God, with your heavenly arsenal. Even God, while we're fixing and while you are allowing us to repair by way of the Holy Spirit, the fragmented foundation, may our walls be fortified, our fortress be fortified, and we bind every work of darkness trying to come against old proclivities and old openings and portals that used to be open. Father, matter of fact, we shut them down right now. We shut up every demonic portal. May it be cauterized with the fire of the Holy Ghost, drenched in the blood of Jesus. Every demon that man knows portals be sent to the pit. Go to the pit right now and never return to the people. Every astral projection and illegal launch into the realm of the spirit attempting to locate us. Father, we ask if it be your will, cut the silver cord in the name of Jesus, that they will never come looking for us. And the spirit that caused them to come looking for us in the realms of the spirit will cause them to go mad, lose their mind. In the name of Jesus, we are protected by you, God. As long as we walk in your laws, your ordinances and your statutes, as long as we Follow your law. We are protected, God. Let that thing permeate and saturate our minds and our hearts. Our soul realm, God. We give it over to you tonight. In the name of Jesus. Father, I bind death, sickness, and disease concerning us. Father, I release long life and good health over us all. In the name of Jesus, I release of the peace of God in the homes of your people. Lord, that they will lay down tonight in sweet sleep, oh God. I bind every demonic disturbance in the name of Jesus in their sleep and even in their dreams. Father, we release the heavenly arsenals in the subconscious minds of your people. Guard us. Protect us, oh God. And we thank you for your divine protection and provision. Lord, that we will have the sense enough to know and the maturity enough to know that you will never send us where your grace cannot keep us. Help us to remain in the place that you have called us to be. Lord, that we can operate under an open heaven and we can lay hold to the Abrahamic covenant in the name of Jesus, that we will walk in fullness and joy. No more happiness for your people, for us, God. No more happiness. Happiness is temporal, but joy is eternal. Lord, I release the joy of the Lord over your people on tonight. For you said in your word, that the joy of the Lord, it is our strength. Father, I release strength on tonight. 
in the name of Jesus. I release a spirit of prayer on tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, teach us how to engage the enemy. That we are victorious through you, Christ Jesus. We are the victors and never the victims. Father, we thank you that we are survivors and we have moved to the place of thriving. But we're not thriving alone. We're thriving in you. Father, I blind the eyes of every tracking and monitoring spirit that will come to monitor us. Father, I thank you for your blood, the blood of Jesus that covers us, that washes us white as snow. I thank you for your word, for it has come to solidify us in who you have called us to be. Now let us walk in maturity discipline, wholeness, and boldness in the name of Jesus. Father, give us the power to command atmospheres in your presence. Let us carry with honor and dignity your presence that will allow us to shift climates in different operational spaces shifted that you may be glorified in those spaces and places. Father, we thank you. We love you. Lord, I pray that you would return to every person the time that they have invested, the seed or the resource that they have sown here. Father, be glorified in our lives. In the name of Jesus, may you return it to them 100-fold. Father, we love you. We want to serve you and we want our lives to reflect who you have called us to be. No more fragments. We are shifting into the place of fullness, wholeness and boldness. Father, we thank you and we love you. We give you all the glory, the praise and the honor that no weapon from, formed against us shall be able to prosper. Father, we take unto us the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, that we may counter every attack in the realm of the spirit. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we shut down communication at the gates of hell and we confuse every demonic operation on assignment to destroy us. We confuse every demonic altar and every demon on assignment to destroy us. May their operations be full of confusion in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we love you. We appreciate you and we adore you. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you all so, so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so, so much. Um, thank you, Linda Best. God bless you. Thank you so much. If I missed anyone, I apologize. Hey, Dory B., Thank you, Facebook. I love you all. Listen, y'all, this has been awesome. This has been awesome. I just thank God for everything that he has done. Thank you, Tim. He says, every morning we wake up and the devil is knocking on our door. Um, on our knocking on our door, grab him by the throat. I know that's right. And choke him out. Uh, choke him out, tap him out, and let him know that he has met his match. Yes, great is our God. Love the tribe. Amen, amen. Thank you so much for that. That part right there. Thank you so, so much. Uh, let's see, what, where else? Let's see, what do we have? Uh, let's see. Okay, I got you, uh, Dora. Thank you so, so much. Let's see. Was there anything else? Let me see if I sent, uh, missed anything on, on my email. Let's see. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate you. God bless you, Joe. I see you right here. All right, family. So until next time, Facebook, thank you so much for everybody hanging in there. And y'all don't forget 
to share this message. And don't forget, y'all, let me, let me put it up here, y'all. Don't you forget, listen, that we have this going on. Let's see what we got, what we got. Let's go to our community tab. Let's see, let's see. Okay. There we go. Hold on, y'all. Let me get it up here. Let's see. Let's share. Let's share. Let's share. Let's share. Can we share? Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's share it. Let's see. Okay. Here it is, y'all. All right, y'all. So y'all make sure, make sure, make sure that y'all get out here on next Thursday. We got the dynamic, prolific, y'all. Pastor Kevin L.A. Ewing hailing from the beautiful island of Grand Bahama. He is going to be with you, with us all tomorrow, uh, next, next Thursday. Truly, the Lord has favored us. So thank you all so, so much. I give God all the glory for all that he has done. Amen. And I just thank God. So I will see you all on the next video, family. And I will see you all Facebook. Y'all make sure y'all get over here on YouTube on next Thursday night. We're going to have Pastor Kevin L.A. Ewing. He's going to be speaking to us on uh, next Thursday night. He's going to take the show, y'all. He's going to bless your souls. Y'all get over there and y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. He teaches deep and he teaches a bona fide word straight from the word of God. He backs up everything with the word. I love it. God bless you, family. I love you all. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all healed and whole at the top. Shalom, family. God bless you all. Good night.